Hey guys, so we're on our way to Yokohama, Chinatown. Yokohama. Yokohama, Chinatown. It is the biggest Chinatown in Japan. I'm gonna see my family. So to get to Chinatown, you gotta take a train there. It takes about 10 minutes to get to Yokohama, Chinatown. Ooh. So Yokohama Chinatown, you have to get off at the Motomachi Chugaki station. Nice. Okay, this is how you go get a ticket, international the English. Will be you in do uh, purchase a ticket, then you go two people, and ours is two, 220. Chuck your money in here. Boop. Boop. Easy stuff, guys. Very simple. Stranger danger! Are you the girl of my dreams? Are you, oh, <laughs> I don't remember. Don't remember her doing that. So guys, you don't have to worry if you did not get the right ticket on a train because the trains will let you know. So this, I didn't pay enough. And it says, no, you cannot go through. So there's a place in every train station that's called fare adjustment. And there are machines over here that you put the ticket in and it tells you, it goes, hey, you still owe 10 cents to get through. Very simple, put my 10 cents in Yep, and that's it. And now my ticket is valid and I can use it to get through the station. So let's try it now with my added fare. Voila, I got through. So simple Japan, making life so easy. Babe, you're looking super kawaii and cute today. I think it's got to do with the merch you're wearing. Whoa. So cool! So we made it to the largest Chinatown. Let's see how big this place is and let's see how Chinese it is and authentic. Well, you're here, so it must be really cool. Yeah, I know. Oh my, God, oh my God! This is so authentic. There's a Sega. Damn, this Chinatown's pretty massive. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Chinese stores here, uh, another store there, more stalls. There's some big ass bows. Oh my god, I've never seen a bow with prawn in it. Okay guys, I found a really popular restaurant and there's a huge line for it, so it must be good. Let's see what they have. Oh, it's like dumplings. So we're gonna try the place out. We're gonna grab one of these, four of these dumplings. So what they do is they make a nice doughy bow and then at the bottom they fry it so it's extra crispy. And there's a green style. Is that matcha style? I've never tried any Japanese Chinese fusion food, so this will be my first ever, the first time in Japan. Let's see if it's good. <laughs> so we've got two white ones, two green ones. I have no idea. I, I think it's just green colored dough. These are uh, just a white oh, color. Oh my time. god, look at that. Wow, that looks delicious. They're piping hot, so I don't know if I should eat it yet. But we do know they have sesame seeds, spring onion, pork inside with their dumpling mixture. And uh, let's try it. Okay, I'll my time. The soup in there is amazing. It's so delicious. So it's crispy at the bottom. You got a pork mince, very delicious soup. Okay. I just burnt the, the roof of my mouth this time. Mmm. Oh. That was crazy. Mmm. So good. A really delicious dumpling. The soup inside it tastes like a shaolong bao, but I don't know what's inside it. I have no idea. So she's gonna eat that. Just the shell. 
Yum. Oh, you got a whole bunch of soup in there. <laughs> it's good, right? How good is that? And the shell is amazing too. So crispy, so delicious. That was amazing. That was a really good dumpling. Oh my goodness, Even that soup was... I could only eat the skin, it was still so good. It was so good. And you can just drink that soup. I could drink a whole bowl of that soup inside. My goodness, that was good. We're gonna come back and get some more later. Okay, this is definitely the biggest Chinatown I have ever been to. And there's so much food, there's so many things to do. Souvenir shops, gift shops, food, dumplings. My goodness. I mean, some of these stores are just beautiful. The architecture feels like I'm in China for real. I've never been to China, guys, but I assume it's something like this. Maybe not. There are a lot of places here that do palm reading stuff, but I mean, it's not that I don't believe it. It's because I'm so superstitious that if it says I'm going to have bad fortune, my whole week will be ruined. So we saw this uh, creepy looking Chinese demon. I don't, I don't know what it is. You can put 200 yen in it and something happens. Pick it. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> I don't know guys. Oh. oh. So you get like a little fortune and it drops it. Ew. That's our fortune guys or a receipt. I'm not sure. We don't know what it says, but we hope it's good. Oh my God guys, it's Ein Chef Chinese. Look at that dude. That. Th I think that's photoshopped. I've never seen a Peking duck the size of a cow. Wow. Damn it, kid. That, that cannot be safe. That... Goodness gracious. <laughs> Can I test you with something? Yeah. What are these Pokemon names? Let's start off with that one. The middle one? Yeah, that one. You can even guess if you want. Rocker. 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 No, it's... Oh no, what does it start with? G. Geodude's brother. Geodude's brother. Alright, what's this one called? Over here, this one. It's a Dinobot. Dinobot? You think it's called Dinobot? Yeah. It's actually called... Oh, what does it start with? P. Polarium. Ooh, pretty close. It's called Polygon. Oh. Yeah. How about this one? You should know this one. Kirby. Kirby? No. What is that this one called? There. This one here. Yeah. You should know this one. What does it start with? C. Kirby. Kirby? This, I thought this one was Kirby. This is Kirby. That's Clefairy. There you go, guys. She knows nothing about Pokemon. She probably likes Bulbasaur. <laughs> Daiso is in Yokohama Chinatown, right in the center of the Chinatown Strip. Nice. Let's check it out. Everything here is 100 yen, which is absolutely ridiculous. Babe. What? <laughs> what is this? You, you just chuck put it on it your, rice. your rice. And you can eat it by itself. Oh, a it's whole bunch of. Uh, Furikake. Furikake. Furikake, and they're just seasoning to put on top of your rice. Uh, mm, let's try to scare though. Yeah, this again. Stop! <laughs> All these toys for 100 yen. That's pretty ridiculous. Wow. Look at this. All these Snickers for 100 yen. All these candies for 100 yen. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's 100 yen, guys. Yeah, yeah, wow. Calbee chips. Yum. Biscuits. Yum. I think there are only two levels at this Daiso. It's pretty small. We are in Yokohama. If you want to go to a big Daiso, go to Harajuku. 
or Shibuya Shinjuku. Those ones are massive. You wanna get some slippers? Okay, they also have stuff that's more than 100 yen. You've got these baskets that go for 300. These ones go for 400, but fair enough. They're just trying to expand. Daiso's trying to expand. They can't sell everything for 100 yen. All right, Delana's looking for some mirrors for her makeup. Sorry, what? Do you wanna know what's beautiful? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> a boomerang. No, that's a glue gun. <laughs> Why would I think there's a boomerang here? Whole bunch of wool or cat toys. And that's pretty much Daiso, guys. I mean, if you guys have a Daiso at home, not that interesting. But if you don't, pretty cute. And that was all $7. Candy, slippers, and a few other things. So good. So we're at a place called Sogo, and it is just a whole level of snacks and treats. I'm very excited. This place is massive. Oh my God. And they're just all sweets, biscuits, jellies. Treats. Dango, look how shiny and sweet that looks. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are these? Sweet soup porridges or something? So it's food and sweets. Look at these skewers. Oh wow, now it's turning into a market with the bento boxes. Look how nice these strawberries look. Packeted sushi galore. Look at these. Oh, look at all the hand rolls. What are these? Cookies? Like all these biscuits and these nice packaging. Oh, wow. I have found what I've been looking for, a patisserie. I want some nice sponge cakes. Oh, yum. That looks incredible. Can we get one? I love sponge cakes and that, that's got some like icing on top. It looks incredible. Oh, it looks so good. It's nine, it's nine bucks though. Should I get it guys? Holy moly. That looks so good. Holy. What are these? Yeah, do you want one? Look at it. So apparently this is called a pre-sando. Uh, I think it's pre-sando. Pre and Delena got a custard puff with cream. Japanese sweets and desserts are just on a whole nother level and I love these these levels of just food and desserts. They're the best things ever. And the sweet, oh my God, the desserts are just to die for. They're just incredibly good. You cannot get anything like this back at home, that's for sure. Sogo has air ventilation that comes out of there. That's where they bake all their cakes and it's just blowing onto us. <laughs> She's getting a huge whiff of it, it's so good. so good. The more we explore Yokohama, the more we realize how big this place actually is. I mean, it's massive, you take one different direction and it brings you to 10 other stores, 10 other malls. It's just amazing. It's a great place. <laughs> it's lazy. Oh. Term for dessert, guys. I've been waiting all day for this. Oh my God. It's like opening up treasure. This is what it feels like to be a pirate. Oh. Look at the packaging, they give you like ice and stuff. You've got these ice packs to keep it nice and cool. I might keep those ice packs. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Oh my God, what is that part? What is this part? Mm. Let's eat this. I am so excited for this. This delicious. That was amazing. That was so sweet and so delicious. It's so soft, so bouncy. I mean, the perfect amount of sweetness. So it's cream and that center part, that's custard. Oh, really? Yeah, here you go. Oh, oh, wow. ho, ho. oh ho, 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 ho. So good. Are you in your happy place? This is better than a brick of gold. My goodness, it is a brick of gold. So for my dessert, I got a cream puff. So I've got the puff up here. First bite. Mm. Yo guys, we're gonna try out all the donkey goodies we bought and we have a whole bunch of them, don't we? Yes, yeah, so we've got lots to try out. Okay, let's do it. Whoa! First up are the Gatsby face wipes. These 
a very refreshing and minty. Let's grab one. And now I'm just gonna rub it on my face and hopefully this wakes me up. I'm pretty tired right now, guys. So that's my eye level Your drained. Eye bags are like down They're to huge, the floor. Right? Let's try it, okay. Mm. Ooh. Ah, okay. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm not feeling look anything quite yet. Quite refreshed. Oh wait a second. My face is tingling. Yep. The menthol. Okay, it feels like I just got some Listerine and threw it on my face. Ooh. Ooh, it's starting to burn. You're getting a bit red. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> That's waking me up. Yeah. Those are really awesome Gatsby wipes. They're, oh my god, it's my face is burning. Ice as well. Yeah. It feels like I put my face in a bag of ice. I highly recommend them to you guys. You can't get it back in Australia. So if you're overseas, make sure you get a whole bunch. Next up. Got the number one face mask. All right, the number one face mask. It's okay. the scorpion mask that I wear all the time. Nodo nudu. Nodo nudu. Nude masuke. Ah, nude mask. Okay, let's open it up. Also, it hides your triple chin when so you gain many, too much you get, weight. You, so you get three. There you go. It comes out like that. Oh, you get three straight away. And also in the box, you get these little packets and you can see there are little slots in here. Do you see that? Mm. Little pockets. So this goes on like this. Whoa, you look like Get Scorpio. Scorpio. Uh. Basically in here are little menthol strips and you place them inside these little slots. Open it up. There you go. So it's like that. Pretty much mm. two menthol. Tuck it right in. Look at that. You see? Can you see that? Mm. Yeah. Nice. And then the next one goes in. How is it? It's good. Scorpion! Do you? Do you smell it? I do smell it. Yeah? What's it's it smell a bit like? weird though. <laughs> like, I mean, you're just constantly... Yeah, breathing it breathing in. Breathing it in. But it's good I stuff. Mean, it's like legit clearing my nose right now. <laughs> Next up, I got nose mint. <laughs> Why do you keep buying minty you stuff? <laughs> Why are you buying more minty I stuff? I couldn't help it. <laughs> fresh? Not bad. Not bad. Fresh for the raves? Yeah, it's pretty good. I always get hay fever. My nose is always clogged. Clears that out. Next, we have one of my favorite Calbee chips. It is the pizza flavor. They have these cheese crystals on it, which are so delicious. It's a pepperoni cheese flavor. Oh, that's a strong smell of cheese. You always get these. Better stop. I gained 100 kilos. You already gained 100 kilos. <laughs> Next we have this, what is it? A black, black clear, clear pack. Um, so, ew, that's so gross. So it's clearly for your pores and everything. Yeah. Is that Thomas from Jet Crew? <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice. It's like a, a tube. Mm -hmm. A real black tube. Oh, how cool. Okay, and I'm just going to chuck this over my nose for now. What do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, should I just put it over my nose? Uh, I guess I can see your undies, but okay. Oh, oh, it stinks. Oh, it's got like a really strong smell to it. That looks really funny. Oh. I don't, I don't think that's right, to be honest. Really? I have no idea what's... Oh, it's stinging. What is in this? Let's just shove it on my Yeah, 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 yeah. It has to be dark. Oh goodness, this is killing my nose. This is not good for my hay fever. Ooh. So I'll leave that on for like 20, 15, 20 minutes and see how it goes. Delena bought these very squishy, delicious cookies. You want to try one, babe? Yes. Every time I go to Japan, I always have to bring some back home with me. Yeah. Give to friends and family, mm. mainly for myself to eat at home. <laughs> yeah, and they come in two flavors. You got their original cookie. Just a milk cookie, and then you got the double choc cookie. Oh, okay. There you go. Blue one, and you got a pink one. Isn't Yay. it so cute? The packaging is so cute. So this is the Banera, which is... Vanilla. Vanilla. And then you've got the cocoa, which is cocoa. Yay. Really so it we'll goes straight that. for the cocoa. And it's just bite size. Mm. Yum. That is a good cookie. <laughs> and it's Yum. just a really squishy cookie. That's it why I like really it. It's really gooey and delicious. Mm. Yummy. Next we have this. I have no idea what it is. Apparently you put it on before you go to bed. So this is just to heat up your eyes. Um, I mean, if you have tired eyes, I think 
you should definitely do this. Right? <laughs> Heats up your eye area around here and just makes you relax. Okay, I think it's done, guys. My face is quite stiff. I can't move this area. Let's peel. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. Ah. No. Oh. Any blackheads on there? Okay, I don't. I don't think I did that properly. These are heating up my eyeballs. It's like I have an electric blanket on my eyes. <laughs> kind of looks like a pad. Good stuff. Um, Interesting stuff, guys. Lululun. Yes. Which is a popular face mask yeah. in Japan. Mm -hmm. And I got uh, Charmander. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? That's not Charmander. That's This is a demon. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Why do I look like this? <laughs> this, is, this is not Charmander. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you know when the next one turns.